Echo. 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 The original jail building, which includes two L-shaped portions, as well as the original exercise yard, were completed in 1854. It is a stone-walled, two-story building with a gable roof. In 1869, a new two-story jail was built using limestone blocks along with three new jail yards. One of the jail yards may have been used for executions by hanging where people would gather to watch. Later in 1877, a third story addition was built adding 14 more cells to the jail. In 1889, the governor's residence was constructed. It is a two and a half story red brick building. Here are a few interesting facts about the prison. Up until the 1850s when the jail was first built, jailers would often have to keep prisoners in their own homes. The prisoners would be confined to their cells for most of the day and night. They were made of stone and likely very cold, and only three feet wide. Guard! Hey, guard! Hey! Hey, you, guard! I need some water. I'm thirsty. Come on! I'm, f I'm dying here. I need some water. Ah, uh, forget you. Oh, hey guys, as you can see I'm a little indisposed here, but we can do the intro while I wait for my water. So welcome back to another video. I have got an amazing location here for you today. It's an abandoned jail. So this one is not overly massive or anything, but it's still pretty big and there is so much cool stuff to see. Actually, it's a jail slash courthouse. The courthouse is incredible. The jail cells are like nothing I've ever seen before. They're absolutely tiny. Like, look at how much space they had. There's other cells that are a little bit bigger, but most of them are this size. Like, it's barely even enough room for a bed. Yeah, probably you fit a bed in the back there, and that's about it. And then you have a bit of room to just sit, maybe. But there isn't even a toilet in here, so this is absolutely crazy. Anyway. It's a really exciting location, can't wait to show you guys. So let's check out the static space. How small the cells are here. So as you can see it's pretty overgrown but because the paint's all peeling off we're actually losing all this artwork from the inmates. Master of Puppets Metallica. Jeez what a terrible band. Wow look at that. So you got what like four other guys sitting there and then you're trying to go poop right here. Wow, they'd even lock you in the shower. Is this like the, uh, the guard booth here? Yep, I love Wade. All 
All right, so let's get this one started. Absolutely incredible jail. I love prisons, jails, whatever you want to call them. And I can't believe how small the cells are here. I'll give you a tour of the one I was in. Yeah, it's absolutely tiny, like maybe nine foot ceilings, rounded ceiling there, all solid brick and just barely wider than me, maybe wide enough for a bed, I guess. And this is what most of the cells are like in this particular prison. So just unbelievable how, how small those are. Just crazy. Like there's no toilet in there, no desk, none of the usual things you would find in a prison cell. These are very minimal indeed. The desk slash eating areas are in the common area. Can't imagine being locked in one of those cells for so long. And there's the communal toilet. Normally you get one of each of those toilets per cell. So let's take a look at this courtyard here. So as you can see, it's pretty overgrown. Got these trees here. I mean, it's like a jungle down there. I remember walking down there last time I was here and yeah, it was pretty difficult to maneuver your way through. I may go down there again, but I won't bother to go down there for the video because there's not that much to see. And the courtyard on the other side is actually not as overgrown. So you guys get an idea of you know, what, what the courtyard looks like, what it would be like to be in there, that sort of thing, right? Buttons to control the doors. So I guess this is another cell here. Weird. Maybe they turned it into storage or something after. These mesh window things. Wow. This is kind of cool, this communal bench seat thing. Peeling paint in here is just unbelievable. It's just coming off in sheets. So that's a sign that it's probably latex paint. But because the paint's all peeling off, we're actually losing all this artwork from the inmates, former inmates. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Dougie Fresh 2011, or 20 something anyway. Maybe 2010, who knows. All right, let's check out this other courtyard here.
We got a squirrel there. He seems a bit surprised to see me. Hey, squirrely. Don't mind me. So yeah, here's the other walled courtyard. It's pretty cool. It's pretty big. So lots of green space for them to enjoy the sun and just being outside in general. Got an apple tree down there. Head back inside. So this area of the building has three floors. So there's, yeah, six ranges total. One on each side of each floor. The first prisoners, a man and his mother, were being held in the prison temporarily before they were moved to a larger facility. The jail was not finished yet, the surrounding walls had not been built, and there was scaffolding surrounding the building. Wow. Some friends of the inmates came and removed the scaffolding and pried the bars off. The inmates escaped. The mother would be captured a year later, but the son was never caught. And they're all fairly similar. So I'm not gonna spend a great deal of time looking in every cell and that sort of thing, right? But there are slight differences to each one, it seems. Look down, please don't miss. Obviously they had some problems with people peeing on the floor, I guess. Oh yeah, this is the cell with all the graffiti. Master of Puppets, Metallica. Jeez, what a terrible band. Finch. All right, so that's it for this floor. We'll head downstairs to the main floor. Yeah, this ground floor is gonna be thing is just amazing. The Ontario Ministry of Correctional Services. Yeah, so this ground floor is a little bit on the dark side compared to the two upper floors. And that looks like a, could have been a book cart or maybe it was a, a food cart. Not too sure. Yeah, so all these cells are the same on this side. Do not flush before 7 a.m. After washing hands, throw soap in toilet, wipe sink, respect. Throw soap in toilet? Oh, 
I see. Like put soapy water in the toilet or something. To clean it, I guess, maybe? Can't get through that doorway too easily with the backpack, so I'll just go around. Yeah, so it amazes me like how small these cells are and I can't imagine being in one of those cells for, you know, however long people would stay in here, right? Um, and I can't imagine that they could really improve themselves and change themselves as human beings and and you know given the conditions right like this is this is brutal so this looks like a communal cell so you got what like four other guys sitting there and then you're trying to go poop right here Good luck with that. There's the food, the food door. Uh, so I don't know, maybe that other one wasn't a communal cell. Maybe it was, um, just a bigger cell for less problematic criminals. High cost of low living prison life. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, these are really crazy cells. I think they're isolation cells, I guess, maybe. The, the writings on the walls because these people seem a little more disturbed than, than the writings from the other people. But yeah, these are pretty rough looking conditions. I can't imagine. Living like this. So we got like a padded room here. Don't know what the deal is with that. Maybe it was a cell? I guess it was a cell. Wow, I guess it's for the real crazies. So they don't bang their head on the walls and stuff. Gotta be careful. So heading into the kitchen here. Staff, the sink is only for hand washing, please. Okay, makes sense. I've never seen that before. I've seen it for like tools, but not for kitchen utensils. Where they draw the outline of the of the piece of equipment. Yeah, there's nothing down there, so I'm not even gonna bother to show it to you guys. There's literally nothing of interest. However, I think there was something interesting up here. Maybe. I don't know, I know that room's empty.
No, okay. Nothing interesting up here. Sorry. All right, decided to go for a little walk around the courtyard here. I can't believe how overgrown this is. It's insane. And there's like little alleyways and stuff. Like you can't just go out to the courtyard and then walk wherever you want. I guess this is for if it's raining or something. Not too sure. In 2011, the jail was permanently closed and vacated and ownership was transferred to the city. It has sat vacant ever since. The jail is also listed on the city's heritage registry. All the vines out here and just trees in general, it's crazy. I can't believe how unmaintained this is. these vines. Oh my gosh. They're as thick as tree roots. All over the wall. Unbelievable. in here. It's incredible. All this peeling paint. You can see the the stone behind it now. No wonder it's peeling because the stone's seeping water probably. And then that makes the paint peel. Like look at this. 
That paint is just oozing from the ceiling. Look at that. Unbelievable. Never seen anything like that before. So got another cell area here. I don't know if this is like a communal cell area or what. Maybe it was like a, a temporary holding cell. Not quite sure. Wow, they'd even lock you in the shower. It's crazy. Okay, get in the shower. I'm gonna lock you up inside the shower. That's weird. locked up the first aid kit. I think I did this part. Yeah. It's just this little room here that we didn't do. So this is a really cool area as well. This is the visitation area. Since then, the city has listed the building for sale many times and being as little as $1. They've issued a request for proposals and received no responses. Lots of scrawlings here. This is obviously the inmate side. And you can see the phones on the outside as well for the visitors. But unfortunately, I can't get into this area. So there's only one way in and that's in, from an outside door. So that's too bad. But anyway, well, there's even some graffiti on the <laughs> visitor's side. Come on, focus. Damn it. Jake and Fox. So, you know, there was some quality people in this prison, I guess, and even their girlfriend or boyfriend were, or husband or wife or whatever, were just as quality as the inmates themselves. look like BB gun holes yeah so these are just the tinted windows into the visitation areas can't open this door either it's seized shut for whatever reason or however it happened like the uh, the guard booth here controlling entry and exit to the premises roll up door generator area watch camera and here's when the visitors come in they have to drop all their I guess their metal or whatever before coming in Let's go upstairs first. So we've done all the prison areas. Oh, actually there's one more area with cells. Strange place for a window. Must have been a retrofit. Okay, and then there's this area I forgot about. Pink room, eh? I wonder if this was a women's cell. 
Yep, I love Wade. I want Chris. Okay. Oh boy. Interesting stuff. Yeah, this is definitely the uh, the women's cell area. Unbelievable, they get more privacy than the men do. You know, we talk about equal rights and stuff, but you know, there's all sorts of exceptions in the world where men and women are not cre uh, treated equally and it's not always that the women get the uh, get the short end of the deal. Sometimes men do too, so I don't know. Uh, another cell area. I'm guessing this was another female cell area. Nightlight. So either that or this was for like the unstable inmates and then they could have people watching them through these windows. Kind of creepy. Not unlike these days though where you probably have a camera on you 24-7 in a jail. Definitely don't get any privacy in a place like this. Oh, gross. And I mean, you'd assume, like, I don't know, most people would probably say, oh, well, they're criminals, they don't deserve privacy. But if you've done something minor, like, I don't know, say like a drug conviction, say like a pot conviction, Hot conviction, um, you know, before it became legalized, then, you know, you're in jail for something that's legal, like, you know, so there's varying degrees of, of, of what's legal and what's not, right? And severity. So this is really cool. So this is the old wallpaper and they just painted straight over it. And now that it's peeling off, you can see it's actually taking an imprint of the old wallpaper with it. That is so cool. Definitely gonna have to get a photograph of that. Incredible. I don't know why you'd paint over wallpaper though. All right, let's head downstairs for the last little bit of this part of the location. Another really nice staircase. Just, it's amazing. Newel post, dark wood, balusters, unbelievable. Look at these doors. Just incredible. Most recently, the city has sold the property for $50,000 and the buyer would like to create a wedding venue, dining and entertainment complex with a shared workspace area. The site would also include an interactive museum. Lots of decay here as well. Oof. Tripping over everything here and the floor's all buckled. Just a washroom. This room's really cool. 
Lots of decay and some interesting features. Got this closet here. Look at those doors, they're massive. And it's all one single door, I guess, too. And here's it goes into the guardhouse. There's a big door there. I guess for passing large items through or an entire person. Oh, this looks like it would have been like the first aid station or something, judging by that little sticker in the window. Well, there's that basement there. Nothing, nothing to see down there. It's a much smaller one. I didn't even go all the way down. So, oh, that's interesting. All right, guys, so that's it for this side, for the prison side. And uh, there's the whole courthouse to check out next. So I'll see you on the other side. I'm a little indisposed here, but we can do the intro here while we wait, while I wait for my 